And new tonight, the House passes a massive disaster aid bill for Florida and other states hit by hurricanes. It's worth more than $36 billion and it's headed to the Senate. Also new, this new debris dump site near downtown Bonita Springs has business owners worried. It sits across the street from Everglades Wonder Gardens in the park on both sides of the Imperial River. The night beats John Carlos Estrada is live there tonight. John Carlos. Amanda, people here in downtown Bonita Springs have actually dubbed this pile of debris Mount Irma. I'm going to show you to you right over here. You can see this has just been one day's worth of collection. You can see it is a lot. It's mostly limbs and dead palm trees right over here. And this whole thing is actually being funded by FEMA to get the cleanup effort done here in Bonita. Now, the city says it needs a centralized dumping site. And right now, there's two dump sites on opposite ends of Bonita. And that's really slowing down the process, the cleanup process here. Now, during last night's council meeting, is actually dedicated to this whole issue. Now, the majority of the council citing that time is of the essence with this cleanup process. We have to be professionally impatient. We have to be because once six months goes by, once nine months goes by, uh, it's not raining and uh, yeah, I guess Bonita Springs was flooded. Now's our time to move uh, with, with due speed on all these initiatives. Location to downtown Bonita Springs has really irked a lot of business owners. You have a lot of tourist attractions here as well as restaurants and shops. And the other thing, too, is the potential of flooding. It is this dump site right over here. It cuts right through the middle of the Imperial River, and that's a, a concern for a lot of people. This isn't only about um, the pile of trash that's going to be here. It's about the safety of this, this community. Um, we've been experiencing flooding. The, the ground is very saturated. This pile can easily end up piled up against these bridges. This whole downtown area that wasn't flooded could be flooded again. Now, the council says that they're open to replacing this site if they find a new location. Now, they are open to the idea of maybe the dog racing track just down the street, but of course, that would obviously cost some money. Now, they plan to meet for the next couple of weeks to go over this recovery process due to Hurricane Irma. On the night beat, John Carlos Estrado, Wink News Now. All right, John Carlos, in Lee County, a new debris drop off site open today. The county says you can leave Irma's mess at the Estero Community Park. It's open seven days a week from 7 30 to 6 30 starting tomorrow. You need an ID to get in.